Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the installation process for Ubuntu Mate 16.04. Now I will point out that this is the first beta image which has been released for this distribution, so there may be a few rough edges, but I think that this is just a good chance for us to um, to have a look and see what we can expect out of this uh, out of this Linux distribution. Okay, so Ubuntu Mate 16.04, of course, based on Ubuntu 16.04. This is the long-term support release, which should see up to five years of support, although some other distributions based on uh, the long-term support often only support up to three years. Okay, so uh, we have just booted off the ISO, and it's taken us straight into the graphical user interface, which is particularly interesting. It's the first time that they've done that that I can think of. There's usually at least a command line uh, menu for people to select their their languages. Um, this is available straight off the bat in the form of a GUI. This is certainly going to be a little more of a pleasant experience for people who are trying out the Ubuntu family for the first time and just to see them eased into a graphical user environment that looks actually pretty quite nice is um, it's a good start. It's just one of those little things that people do take stock of but us as a Linux community often overlook because it's a stylistic element when we're often more focused at what's under the hood. Anyway, let's. Uh, so we can either try Ubuntu Mate or install Ubuntu Mate. It gives us all of the information that we really need. It even gives us the release notes right here and then, right here and now, just so that we can assess everything really off the bat and select our uh, uh, it, and select our um, our regional settings. Okay, so let's crack on and let's ins install Ubuntu Mate. Now, generally speaking, I've always found the Ubuntu installation process to be to be to be really quite user friendly. So now we have the option we can either download update updates while installing Ubuntu Mate. Uh, we can install third party graphical Wi Fi yada yada. Uh, I'm going to leave those for now. I would usually tick both of those boxes, but for the sake of keeping this video short, concise, um, and just sort of free of complications, I'm going to just pass on them right now. You can always add these in later. We're going to erase the disk, which of course uh, all of this is done within uh, a virtual machine because uh, I may try and actually install one of these beta images onto um, a live part, uh, you know, an actual live partition, um, just to see how it looks like in the field and then possibly upgrade from there when uh, when the final release is, is out. So anyway, you can select London for our locale and this is just for the, the regional settings and I like the fact and I've always liked the fact that you can actually set up the settings as it's being installed in the background. Um, I think that's a real bonus. So we can try out our keyboard here. Now since I'm using a UK keyboard, it's the at sign and the double quotation marks. They're usually the ones that get mixed up between the US keyboard design and the UK keyboard design. And considering that both of these are obviously variations of the English language, it's sometimes not, um, not easy to remember to actually check that whereas you might have the correct language selected or where, whereas you might have an English language selected. Um, you may not have the correct keyboard selected, but we do have it here. So my name, I'm just going to put VM for virtual machine, VM for virtual machine, VM for virtual machine. And you kind of get the drill. And we'll just log in automatically. It gives you the ability to encrypt your home folder. Um, I've never actually used that for any period of time because I've always been, um, I've always used the, or I've always used desktop machines and encryption really does give you a bit of a performance hit as well as making it difficult to recover hard drives in the event of hard disk failure. So unless your computer is really at risk of getting stolen, I've never really considered much value in um, in encrypting your hard, hard drive or your home folder. Uh, if you had a laptop or, or a tablet or something, then it makes all the sense in the world, definitely go for it. But if someone is physically at my machine, uh, I've got more things to worry about than the, the contents of my hard disk drive, namely the fact that someone has broken into my house and going through uh, my stuff. So, um, so generally speaking, and also I do use this m machine for obviously recording stuff and uh, and video games where performance hits are something that I really would not like. Also, because this is being run in a virtual machine, please consider the fact that this installation pro process might be a little speedier because everything's being done on the same hard drive. Uh, whereas if you're say installing from, certainly from a CD-ROM, you can expect there to be a significantly longer install process. Uh, and um, possibly even so from a USB, although uh, in all honesty, USB installations are just as quick that you, you wouldn't even notice. You'd go away, make a cup of tea, come back. So just right off the bat, um, reviewing the installation process, it looks as good as it ever has been. It looks, well, I mean, it's bug-free at the moment. It gives us a bit of a slideshow, which uh, I guess 
works really well. This is something that we really ought to pay attention to. This is the Ubuntu Mate startup screen, and it gives a lot of people new to the distribution all of the tools they, they have right at their disposal right as, as soon as you log in, including various options for support, various ways to get involved, and all the, all the documentation and the features as well, which is really quite good. Um, I, I really like Ubuntu Mate. It seems to be a bit more of a return to form to old Ubuntu. I wish they'd chosen a more aesthetically pleasing color, but hell, you can't have everything. So um, it does look a bit um, earthy, and uh, and I never feel that that's necessarily... I don't know. It's a stylistic choice, and obviously. The theming options, especially for Mate, actually, the theming options for Mate are, um, are pretty dang extensive. It's certainly one of the most customizable uh, desktop environments and the best way to sort of look at these kind of family of distributions is to look at it as Ubuntu but with a desktop a different desktop environment and a few different software choices in fact reasonably quite a few um, different software choices now I'm coming from Manjaro the KDE edition which for the most part I'm really quite happy with um, and I actually find that the KDE version of Manjaro to be significantly better than any of the other um, images available because um, I think it has something to do with the 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 strength of the KDE as a desktop environment managing to sort of uh, cover a lot of the bases that Manjaro may suffer with with other desktop environments anyway I shouldn't be talking about Manjaro I should be talking about Ubuntu this is the this is the distribution that we're looking at today but it's one that I've always liked I got to admit back in the old days I thought Mata um, Mate was was not going to last as long and not going to be as successful as it was. I thought that at the time we had a very saturated marketplace for desktop environments and I thought that Mate was really just bringing another one in that would otherwise be filled possibly by XFCE or whatever but but it turns out I was wrong and I got to admit I'm really glad that they actually decided to push forward with Mate and not even it it wasn't even that they're keeping GNOME 2 alive. It's that it's they've kept up with all the GTK3 tech and all that kind of stuff, and they've they've kept into the in kept up with everything. That um, that I'm uh, I'm really glad that they did as well as they have. Now, what are we downloading here? Is this language packs? It almost always is. So. It's going to give us. It's going to give us a couple of minutes. I wish they would ask before uh, before doing that, but uh, uh, but there you go. There's not really much you can do there. Um, and doesn't even actually tell us what it is downloading. Is it? Do we have to? Hmm. Again, this is something that I would expect to to see worked out maybe in the final release. Ah, there we go. We just skipped it easy enough. Um, yeah, so the slideshow is actually running us through the accessibility options. I would imagine that if you're installing this for the first time, oh, it even gives you a number of links that you can actually look at. I would imagine, what if I click on them now? Hmm. So it even gives you something to read and something to look through as the, uh, as the installation process is happening. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. So now it's just configuring configuring hardware. So again, um, this recording has now been going for coming up to nine minutes, and we're pretty much just wrapping up the uh, wrapping up the installation. Now, of course, if you're installing from CD-ROM or sort of any media that isn't solid state. It's going to be a lot longer than that, but I would imagine that a lot of people are, are installing off USB drives these days because, of course, um, there's significantly less waste. You know, you can just take a USB drive, stick a distribution on. You could save that um, USB for, for when you need a backup, when you need a, need a rescue, um, and then you can update it as, as far as the distributions go, especially if you upgrade your Ubuntu install every six months. So off the bat i mean this looks like a smoother installation a smooth and installation process as as you could expect and i would expect this is the only installation run through that i'm actually going to do on this channel uh the reason for that is just because the other distributions by and large use either the same or very similar installation processes but um but it looks like they've just done a steady steady build here which is uh, which is all good 
So I haven't actually worked out which of the desktop environments I would like to run, but I think that I'm going to switch away from Manjaro and back into Ubuntu, um, at least for my main machine here. I think that my time with, with Manjaro has been good. It's, I've loved it. I'm, I'm leaving it on a high note, but I want to see what, uh, what Ubuntu is up to a little bit these days, at least for the next six months in their next 16.4 release or 0.04. Okay, so our installation is complete and we can get ready to use the installation so okay so we saw the theme take a little while to load in there but uh, that all looks nice and hunky-dory oh nice little animation there now that is a little more polished than I was expecting a nice little ah subscribe to welcome updates ensures welcome documentation translations are always up to date so what happens if we click on that Welcome will automatically restart in a few moments. Ah, so we can give you the up-to-date latest screen to help people get started. That's really good. So preparing installation, running post-installation, yada yada. There we go. That's good. Okay, so what does it give us? It gives us the introduction. What is Ubuntu Mate? I like this. I like this. So yeah, this is good. This is good. It throws in the text when it's needed, but it doesn't bombard you with it right off the bat. Someone has put a lot of thought into this. This is this is the kind of thing that I think Linux needs to do. You know, needs to do well and needs to do strongly in uh, if it's going to have a, a wider mass appeal. The community. So it talks about the social networks that it's on, and there's the community website. We've already taken a glance at that. The chat room, so we can join in the, yeah, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. It uses, the, you know, it uses almost the amount of information that it needs at the time. The shop, um, that just takes you to the, yeah, to all the, the merchandising stuff. We can even tell you how to get involved. Ubuntu Mate on Launchpad, Ubuntu Mate on Bitbucket, make the Mate desktop at GitHub, Mate desktop at TransFX. I don't know what that last one is. That is good. That is pretty, pretty fantastic. And then you, of course, you can choose, choose to show it every time on the way in. And it gives you your, yeah, your desktop environment. Comes with Firefox. Let's have a look at. Um, well, I'm going to save. I'm going to save sort of uh, the more in-depth look for uh, for another video. So that's the installation process. Okay, so right off the bat, this actually looks like a really strong installation process into a really strong distribution. So um, I'm going to leave it there for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know so far what you think down in the comment section below i got to admit it does look a lot like the previous distributions in regards to its installation process in regards to aesthetic but that really is just continuity and again just showing that ubuntu mate and the folks at ubuntu mate know what they're doing when it comes to to, to building a strong linux distribution that can hopefully appeal to all range of linux users right from the newbie all the way to the experienced software designer um, and and hacker extraordinaire so anyway guys thank you very much for watching that's about it from me today uh, until next time i've been chris Ware, and you've been awesome take care now